thought I'd just show you the Ibsley Weir. That's the weir that the salmon run through. And you can see you've got, let's go in a little bit closer, let's have a look at her. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just met up with Steve Hutchinson. He's taking his second salmon out of the Ibsley Weir pool. And he's just landed it, it's in the net. We're just gonna go down and have a look at it. There he is, he's over there. So away we go. Hi Steve. Off the off the lie, yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic news. Any size? Very well done. Well done. 12 or 13? Oh, well done. That looks a beautiful fish. And that was just in the usual place, was it? On the back eddy, where I lost my fish two years ago. Let's put one through here. Fish on. Salmon on. Yes, it's a salmon. Paul! Paul, salmon on! Salmon, yeah! He's going, he's going. Alright, got a salmon on, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta keep his head up, he's still on. He's coming through. Yeah, it's a salmon. It's a salmon. Wow. Just look at it go. It's a nice one as well. Alright, I've got him on. First time I've had a salmon in the weir pool. Off he goes. I've got him on. Oh man. This is brilliant. He's taking line. It's a big one as well. It's a big one. Salmon on. Salmon on! Gotta try and keep him out the weed. There he is. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. He took it really well. I've got him on now, ladies and gentlemen. This is a big boy. There he is. Oh, he's lovely, well and truly hooked. He's stripping, ah, keeping him on, keeping the tension on. All right, let's get the net off. Oh, wow, never had a fish here. Now, oh, just gonna try and keep him out of the weed. Let's get the net up, he's coming up close to us. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, just look at that. He's a beauty, here below the weir. Wow, I had a feeling there might be one here. Oh, he's come off, he's come off. You know, it's very wise because there's so much weed. I lost mine down here, but over here is the place to play it. So right hand side, mm -hmm. you've got to be happy. I am. Yeah. Well done. That's half a day's effort as well. I'll come and uh, take some photography if you like. Okay. Yeah. And we can do an underwater release as well. Yeah. Beautiful. It's pristine condition. Um, it's a bit red. Is it a bit red? Well, I mean, no, it's I mean, got a bit of colour. No, it's not colour. It's a bit nice. Has it been hit by a predator or not? Okay. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Is it a cockfish? Yeah, it looks like a cockfish, right? I'll get the um, camera out now. Just bear with me. Uh, we spoke about it, didn't we? <laughs> we had a chat at Huckleberg. I lost a fish up there. Steve and I were talking about doing the Ibsley Weir pool, and he's going to come down and very kindly show me where he took his fish out two days ago. It's going to take it out a second. So how about that? Two in about four days, is it? Is it three days? Two and three days? Yeah. Two and three days. Two and three days. Well, it's my fourth this week. Okay. Right. Camera's standing by, so. Okay. Yep. It's a lively fish, so. Yep. I bet you played him quite nicely, no problems. Yeah, no problem. Oh, that's lovely. Is he gone? Is he disappeared? 
off he goes. Well done, congratulations, Steve. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, that's the second out of the Ibsley Whirlpool for about 25 years. It's incredible. So I'll have to forward you the pictures now. You'll have to give me your mobile number. <laughs> oh, I've got your email. Yeah. Yeah. And I suppose you did the usual bit and then you came over and tried the second part of the... And it's normally, what I did last time, I remember I, I upped the MEPS towards the tree and it came round this way. And it's, there's a back eddy that goes that way, so the MEPS works quite nicely. And probably took it underneath the trees here? Tucked un tucked yeah. under the tree, yeah. It may have followed it back off there, you see, it came on the curve. But did it take it as he came out on the curve, or was it actually under the tree? Well, it was under the tree, and it deep down as well. So. Yeah, you cast it down all right then. Yeah. Fantastic. Well done. Five. Five? Well, you're my biggest competition. <laughs> I want to get to ten before you get to sixty. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get the double figures. Have you got time for another one? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh well. He's into another fish. Steve's into another fish, and I've got it on video as well. There was a second there, wasn't there? Well, Steve, I should have taken your offer to take that second chance, didn't I? Fantastic. <laughs> I was supposed to get to 10 before you get to six. <laughs> well, well done. Similar, similar size? They must be all stacked up, ready to run. Uh, two within 10 minutes is fantastic going. I've got this all on video. I've got the take on video and the cast, everything. We'll make a nice film. Yeah, yeah. You've done the right thing, playing him away from the shallows because I lost my fish down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, first cast as well, no missing. It's going all right, isn't it? It's playing well. I don't think I've actually seen you play a fish before. First time I've ever seen you play a fish? Yeah. Yeah. She's going all right. She's fighting well. I saw where it took. I saw exactly where it took. It was right on the same taking spot that I had my fish on. Like I say, come at a certain ag angle on it and bring it, bring it back against it. It turns and nails it, doesn't it? Fantastic. Beautiful sport. How long did that one take to bring in? Yeah. About five minutes? Yeah. And just took me to set up 25 pound braid? Yeah, 30 pound braid. braid, 25 pound fluoro, yeah. and a power swivel. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mustard. mustard swivel yeah. and size four silver maps. That's what does the business. So it's the same yeah. technique to me. I use a five, size five, virtually, yeah, virtually identical. Yeah, heavy line so I can get within quick like. Yeah. And also if I hit a pike, I can. Yeah, and also if you hit a 30, you've got a chance. <laughs> we all know about that. Well, yeah. Cool, yeah, I can see your, your bead on the yeah. edge. Yeah. Long before the yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks like a similar size fish of about 12, 13 pounds. Oh, he's taking it. Cool, the rod's handling it really well, isn't it? Handling it well. Yeah, it's cushioning in the whole fight. Yeah, you're playing very similar to me, side frame, keeping it away from the danger spot, which is down below here, shallows and weed, that's where they extract hooks. Yeah. Be careful, there's a tump of weed in here as well. I've lost fish here as well. Yeah, excellent. You've got a real spirited fish here. I'm going to have the third cast. <laughs> I will take the third cast. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> no, go on then, go on then. Three or three casts. No, I can't do that to you. <laughs> Oh, ladies and gentlemen, look at the reel, look at the reel, look at the reel, uh, look at the scene reaction. Oh, we're getting everything here. PGTV is bringing you all the action live here from the banks of the Hampshire Raven <laughs> on this wonderful Ibsley Weir pool, which is the under most underestimated pool you can believe. Can we to land it? Yeah. I'll get behind it.
Steve? Okay, right. Okay. Okay. It's so, like, slightly bigger. I think it's about 12 or 13, that one. Powerful. Oh, wonderful. Congratulations. Double congratulations, Steve. You've got to go for the third fish, mate. <laughs> John's phone call was unbelievable. This is a red letter day, mate. <laughs> You've still got half an hour. <laughs> Steve is so funny because he does half a day and he's still banging them out. I mean, I just... So, this is just unbelievable. This one has got a predator mark. I told you that some of them have predator oh, yeah. marks. You see that? Yeah. That's beautiful. Barbless hooks, so the barb the hooks should just slip out nicely, shouldn't they? Should do. Out she comes, and that fish is in pristine condition other than that slight hit. Oh, well done. Yeah, well done, Steve. I've got the whole about on video, mate. It's going to make a lovely film for you. Wonderful. I'm glad we teamed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a beauty, Steve. I mean, fish number six. You're chasing my tail end. <laughs> Give it another day. You'll be joint. You'll be up with me. Yep. You know. So oh, fantastic. Well, this one won't take long to recover. Yep. The mightest touch. Mightest touch. Oh. Yeah, I think so. You make, you make it look so easy, Steve. You really do. I have caught a lot of fish. Yeah, you certainly have. Particularly on the Meps. You're the Meps wizard, man. I thought I was good at Mepsing. <laughs> oh, fantastic, man. Fantastic. Yeah? Okay. I think it'd be nice to have that in the background, I think. Should we do that and present it that, that way? And maybe give me the best flank and then... Oh, the yeah, the weir behind. Well, it is John. John's coming. Yeah. Well, we can take a nice picture with the weir. Yeah, we'll get the weir in the background. <coughs> Second cast. There's still a chance for a third, third fish yet. It's in the lie that I lost my fish, John. You know, we've talked about all the fish lying up here. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna come in, it's gonna come in, that's it. Come in a bit, that's it. I'll get an underwater, that's it. That's it, come in, that's it, that's lovely. That's lovely. Beautiful. Lovely pictures. Yeah. I'll get the underwater camera if you like, Steve. All right, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Off he goes. Off he goes. Bye bye. Go and tell your mates we're ready for you. <laughs> well done, Steve. That's two in ten minutes. Three out of the weir in three days. Fish number six. I've got some competition here. Well done, Steve, man. Well done. Do you know what was really funny? He offered me the second cast as well, because this is this is the lie I told Steve about two years ago, isn't it? And you've come back and hit two fish out of it. <laughs> so are you, you going to have a third go? Go on, let do three on the trot. If you do, th there could be about twenty lined up ready to run the weir there. For I know. Did they? It's a salmon, I think it's a salmon, the way it's fighting. We've got a fish on, ladies and gentlemen. I'm hoping it's a salmon. It's shaking. Oh, it's coming towards us. I'm going to clutch up a little bit. Is it a salmon or is it a pike? Oh, it's shaking like a salmon and it's going like a salmon. I think this is a salmon, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get his head up. It's fighting ever so well, ladies and gentlemen. He's ours, fish number 11. 